Hello, it's V Bombs the Bomberman here coming to you with a brand new tutorial on the fundamentals of Linux Multimedia Studio. Now, uh, to begin, I'm just going to show you the basics of LMMS. Uh, so here we have our song editor. I'm going to just go step by step and show you every little thing about it. So for the song editor, what we have is we have a bunch of defaults. So first things first, remove the automation track. Unless you're doing uh, very stylized music, it's almost completely useless. So let's say you're doing like dubstep. Uh, it can be used in that. In fact, look up any dubstep tutorial and they'll probably tell you to use that if you're using LMS. Uh, if you look up, if you try to do something like vaguely uh, real sounding, you'll probably do that. But most of my views come from uh, rap music, which, uh, unless you're doing like uh, Egyptian or uh, how do you say. Uh, Indian style music and you're like mixing it in there it won't really be that useful and even then it, it's rare now the other thing you're going to want to remove is this sample track because this is completely pointless I don't even know what this is I've never used it for anything so here we have I, this this was in here from the beginning so if you didn't see this it just it's uh, audio processor. This is the bread and butter for beginners. This this is a plug-in. Uh, so as you can see here, we have the audio processor file. These are stuff from a really long time ago. So that's uh, we have Bit Invader. I'm just taking you through the plugins. So let's say you have bitten paper and you want to make something cool sounding. I really, it's difficult for me. You can just change the presets or anything. Look at that. Some hardcore bass. Basic sign. So we got that. Say you use something like that. We're not going to really use that. Here. Uh, no, we're not going to really use that. Uh, let's say you know, there's a sweet pad and you know, all that kind of stuff. So you can edit the things inside of here. I've never used any of this. I don't use this either. This one I use a bit. So you can just look through here, see the kind of sound, kind of sounds you like. Oh, and these. This does not sound like a guitar. I don't know why I called that. These are all. Um, these are custom sounds I made. And how you make a sound is you just. I don't know if I want to go into this. But might as well. You just you know mess with this stuff, and you and for me, it's basically just uh, it's trial and error. Uh, do I still have this? No, I have a lot of. I used to have a lot of Latin music. Now I have a lot of Middle Eastern music on here. So if you start noticing that a lot of things are uh, of Greek or Arab instruments, you'll see a lot of those on my on a lot of my music, in fact. But I don't show the majority of my music. So the major the actual majority of my music is like orchestral music with Greek influence, orchestral music with uh, Arabic influence, Latin music is a lot of like merengue, reggaeton, that kind of stuff. Uh, but the majority of stuff I put on YouTube is trap music because I know that's what people actually want to hear. 
So in, in the comments, if you want to hear like orchestral songs, I mean, if I see enough of a of a demand for them, I'll put them up. But or if you want a tutorial on like my orchestral music, which you haven't heard yet, then you know, just hit me up. Uh, I'm starting to notice something. checking so we have some of these these are this is my favorite this zin ad sub thing so you know these are still some of these basic things those are those sounds are actually in the uh i think they're in the regular but i saved them anyway because they're hard to find so let's say you want to make a basic uh, rap beat. Well first you're gonna need, I'm just gonna use the drums that come with this. No, I did not mean to click that. So, or don't they have a, There you go. So these, I've double clicked them all, so they're all in here. Let me remove all this random stuff. So if you double click things, they move in here. Uh, so I'm just gonna have, I'm gonna move this. I'm, oh, here's something. If you wanna make this longer, you just add steps. Add 16, adds a whole bar. So that's what, you, that's what I do. So, I'm just gonna make a basic. I'm just gonna add this in. No, that sounds, that's not how I want it. had a bit of inspiration actually uh, I don't know if it'll fit here but I'm just gonna sh go to my samples uh, samples <laughs> I'm a hot chop song. I put a beat using this, but I just thought this would be a real good way to bring in sampling. So let's say I just want to bring in this sample. So how I edit it is I just you know start and end. So let's say I want to make. I'm just going to make it similar to how it was before. Well, it doesn't really matter where I put the end here, but I'm going to put it. All right, so it's going to have that. And then after, I'm going to add another one. I actually put that in the song editor. I'm going to put it in the beat and bass line editor. Just click that to bring it back. Just gonna move. If you want to know, that's how you cop you copy and paste. Helps a lot, and you can move it between songs. So let's say I just want to. So I'm just going to double click this and bring it back just a tiny bit. Okay, so now listen to it. So I'm here on, on this, but it's not 
if you put these together. Or this just needs to be quieter. When I do something that most of you, so you're in your effects chain, you want to pick, you want to start that, and you want to add reverb. Just add See, now you have more silence. Uh, it's kind of weird hearing it like that because I'm used to the other way. So those are some of the basics. Uh, I, next tutorial, I'll go into the piano rolls and uh, arranging your music. But to leave it off, I'm going to show you how to make a simple loop. So I just right click around. You can see this little green thing moving. I'm going to move it right here. I'm going to click this. <laughs> See, I'm just using some basic loops already. All right.